get that merch. You know what I'm saying? I got this shirt on right now. You better get your merch. At the end of the day, official shirt, official hoodie available now. Click the link below. How to get business credit. Well, in the last video, we went and took a look at actually a couple Net30 accounts. And you may have not known what a Net30 account was, but hopefully after the last video, now you do. You're going to need to know exactly what they're going to be for this video. Now, once you take a look at the last video, once you set up your business and made sure that you've got that Duns number, the next thing to do is to focus on your online listing. I spoke previously about a couple of ways to get listed online, such as 411, such as Google, uh, Facebook even. I mean, you know, make sure you out there. Get on all the social media websites that they are because your goal is you're spreading your brand. And you're trying to make sure that you're selling, you know. If you was out there, if you were selling records as an entertainer, you would be out there. You would be, your face would be everywhere. You would have advertisements everywhere. So in this case, you're a business. And much like any other company that already exists, you just want to make sure that you're listed everywhere. Now, in addition to that, you want to make sure that all your information is the same on everything. That means every listening you want to have your name your address your phone number all the same that way if someone looks you up and they see you listed on duns or maybe listed on the irs and you have two different names or two different listings rather they may not know that's you even though it's the same company name and maybe you have a different address you know what i'm saying so if you're going to use your business address and maybe a different address for mailing try to make sure that you line up everything that you have as far as a listing with the same information now that leads me back to the net 30 accounts the last video i made was the top ones that i said was of 2021 and at least they were definitely my three picks i made sure that they were three that i added to my portfolio and next thing you know i established business credit right out the box so i'm pretty sure any business that you got set up out there you're gonna be able to do the same you understand all right now again check the previous video link in the description and it's up there in the box something else you might want to consider uh you may want to consider getting a credit card for your business i mean this will really help you this will be uh, a method that you'll be able to make purchases and pay them off later just like all these other credit accounts with these companies the credit card works the same way except now it's in the form of a credit card with the credit company where you'll have a balance or your goal is not to have a balance but you'll be able to support the business in a different way with the credit card and the last part of the video i want to get into trade accounts the reason why trade accounts is so important is it's like having a authorized user as a as for your personal credit the trade accounts work like that for your business with trade accounts you'll be able to get more credit accounts for your business and in turn get more credit for your business we'll get into that in another video i just want to make sure you get a gist of and how to understand how to actually get business credit if you like the video like share subscribe you know it's more coming i mean it's like i said it's chapters so it's different things that i want to cover I just have to make sure I know what I'm talking about. So when I come in front of the mic, you can just check the information. I'm going to have links in the description. And most importantly, I want you to check and make sure I know what I'm talking about. Let make sure you come back to the channel. All right? I get it, you. God say the same. See you in the next video.